Um, so looking at the, uh, the, just considering the range of different applications that you can put uh, the uh, laser sintering process to, here's a really exciting example that demonstrates all of the, the major con aspects of the, uh, the technology and the process. This here is a model of the roof of the New Free Library in Berlin. Now this is uh, an architectural model and it's, uh, as you can see, clearly massively scaled down. It uh, weighs virtually nothing. It demonstrates really the incredible strength that can be generated through um, excellent engineering design. This one was designed by uh, Foster and Partners. Um, so we have a, a very, very stiff model that weighs, hard to say, six to uh, eight ounces. Um, enormously complex in its structure. Uh, you can imagine trying to make this by hand. It would, um, it would take you weeks or months and it really would be very hard to make it look as accurate and uh, precise in every respect, as clean a model as this. So this is a lovely example of what you can do with, uh, with laser sintering. Um, the range of applications, though, goes far beyond just architectural work. Um, there's automotive, there's artistic work, uh, chairs, or um, indeed just uh, abstract models we get quite a few of, both for um, SLS in uh, polymer in the plastic, but also in, as, uh, as casting blanks as well. It's quite common. We do work for automotive manufacturers, um, aerospace, motorsport, white goods manufacturers. It, the, the, the list is, uh, is almost endless. It's uh, you know, very few weeks go by where we don't uh, seem to pick up a new type of industry whereby um, they appreciate the benefits they can gain from um, laser-centered models.